Hello, now we are going to work on the snitch refrigerator magnet craft. You will need a pencil or a pen, scissors that your parents say are okay for you to use, the liquid glue that was in your box, and the little snitch kit that was in your box. So, first things first, you're going to take this see-through piece of paper, it's called vellum, and you can choose what kind of wings you would like your snitch to have. Jason, who works at Little Shop, he designed all these wings for us. Thank you, Jason. So earlier today, I made this snitch with the kind of the, the classic wings that were in the film, kind of look like that. So for this one, I think I want to make the bat wings. I like the bat wings a lot. So take your vellum, lay it on top of whatever wings you would like and take your pencil or your pen actually i'm going to use a pen and trace over the edges of the wings that you want And you're going to want to hold your fingers over the vellum so it doesn't shift around on you. And just go around the edges. I'm going kind of fast because it's kind of boring to watch somebody trace. But you can take your time. Get all those nice details in there. Okay, so I have traced the bat wings. So now I'm done with this for now. You should have enough materials in your box for you to make two. So you may want to make the same wings twice or two different wings like I did. Now I'm going to cut out the wings that I just traced. I've included a little extra vellum just in case you make a mistake and you want to start over. That's totally fine. It happens in crafting. There we go. Got the wings, don't need this for now. Put that aside. And we're done with the scissors and put those aside. So next, I'm gonna go in the little, the little bag and get out your piece of foil, your gold foil and your marble and your magnet. Don't need this bag, put that aside. So you'll notice that your marble has a flat side and a rounded side. So what we're gonna start with is the rounded side. That side. You're gonna take your glue and just put a little bit of glue just a little, you do not need a lot of glue. Just a little bit. Little dot there. And you'll take the silver side of the foil and put the silver side on top. Flip it over. OK, 
Okay, and now you're going to curl the edges up and over the edge of your snitch, your marble. And this may take a little bit of finesse. This may take a little bit of wiggling. And it's okay that the edges don't meet on the back. You want a little bit of exposed marble in the back for the glue to stick the wings to. So it's okay if the back isn't totally covered. All that matters is that the front gets covered. Let me turn my light down, it's a little bright. There we go, that's better. Okay, so the front is covered. The back, you just smooth that tin foil down as best you can. All right, now you're gonna take your glue again and just a little tiny dot of liquid glue. Does not take a lot at all. Just a tiny little bit of glue. And you will take your wings that you just cut out and glue them onto the back of your marble. So it should look like that. Give it a little smoosh to really get that vellum paper nice and glued. Yep, so then when you flip it forward, looks like that. Okay, last bit. Now, you do wanna put plenty of glue on this side, on top of the wings on the back, here we go. Not a super lot, but more than the other two dots. Now you will take your magnet and lay it on there and give it a good smoosh. It's good if the glue kind of seeps out from under it. That's how you know you got it all around the edges of your magnet. Okay then you are done. Now you probably want to wait for the glue to dry. I suggest overnight. So that way when you put it on your refrigerator, it doesn't, the glue doesn't come undone and it just goes all over. But there you have your golden snitch refrigerator magnets with your choice of wings. Great job.